What up, people? In this video, we're going to try to give you all the knowledge we know in this game. There might be a couple things we forget about, you know? But we're just going to go a general basis talking about what to do if you just start out to what you do at the end, you know? End game stuff. All right. So let's start with what do you do as a new player? First thing you want to do is enter in all the codes. That's what you do as a new player. Enter in all the codes. And then you join the stream. Legit. I'm not even joking. You have to join somebody's stream. And you're going to unlock trading. Trading's really easy to get. The, the way you trade is you have to go go into one of these things and you just have to attack chests, you know? You just continue and uh, go through this normal infinite TT, infinite time trial, this door right here, and you just have to attack chests. Once you get a 1,000, you're chilling. You have a lot of money. Now, you could do this with a friend, though. Once you have trading, then this is the point where I give you, I don't know, or you're one of your friends. It could be me. It could be someone else. They give you like 20K TT uh, shards, you know, because shards are easy to come by. Then what you do is you get a common unit, right? Get a common unit and you roll on common units. When you have a common unit, and you get a good passive, like the good passives are going to be, let's go to the time chamber and just show you guys what the good passives are. You're going to roll not on, on this machine right here. I mean, you can roll on the other one too, but yeah, you're going to roll on this machine. And basically you're taking all the black passives and Draco. Draco could be good, but not. Nah. You want this for drops. And you want this for luck. Damage doesn't really matter right now. You want two pro tags. And you want time lords. If you got all the... If you got all the normal ones already. Like, let's say if you get minor. You get golden luck. And you get pro tag already. You're kind of good. All you need is one of each. You know, you could clone them later. You go over here. And then you open for light speed. And I guess you could keep crew leader. Get only one. All you need is one. All the rest of them are pretty bad. I don't know what bounty hunter does. No one knows. No one cares. But uh, yeah. Then if you get these, that's good too. But... That's just for uh, that's just for getting them right. Eventually, you'll be you're well. I think you're able to go to Machine World right away, right? I don't know how it is. If you get Machine World right off the rip, you then you could just clone dudes like right away. Yo, imagine it says you have to be in a certain level. You're probably gonna have to progress. But anyways, when you get the when you get normal common units, you clone them with the good passive and then later on you just transfer them there's a transfer machine right here boom you just take the commons and boom boom and you transfer whatever passive you have and what happens is you get the passive that could have been a crazy passive you could only transfer you could only clone non-divine passives and non-event passives Speaking of event, you want to go into the events right away. You want to get a character. As soon as you go into the event, they're going to say, oh, here's a character. You get one 200 character, and that's going to allow you to progress probably all the way to Lucky Kingdom easily, you know? Another thing that you want to do 
is you want to do some raids. You know, if it's a new player, you want to do a raid because you could get a challenger unit that's OP. These are challenger units. Yeah. So, but you cannot do this alone. You're going to have to do it with people, you know. That's why I say if you join the stream, I'd be grinding stuff like that. I'd be doing raids. So, yeah, pull up. Link is in the description. Twitch TV uh, slash JMAC. Twitch.tv slash JMAC. Let's go. All right. How to get to the last island. Once you're going to get to, like, probably around Lucky Kingdom, it's going to be tough. Around Kingdom of Four, Lucky Kingdom, that's when you start slowing down a lot. What you want to do is pop a shiny potion. Now, when you use the codes, you're probably going to get a couple of these. And if you have trading, they're, like, literally free. You know? Let me tell you something. These are worthless. Don't be trading anything for these. You could get these for free. This is worthless. Don't be trading anything for these. These are worthless too. Don't be trading anything for these. These are worthless too. Don't be trading anything. There's going to be a lot of people that are going to try to scam you. They're going to want your cursed orbs. These are the most valuable things in the game right here. Don't be trading them. Don't trade anything. That's the best actually rule. As a new player, just don't trade. You're going to get scammed. These are actually good too. So don't trade nothing. But the basically the only the best way to get to the last world is you just open shiny potions. Don't even do like you could do defenses and stuff like that, but literally just use a shiny po potion. Go here. Uh go to auto sell. I guess you could turn off secrets so you could keep secrets and then just uh auto open like this. If you do uh basically time trials if you do time trials you get an extra equip and two extra opens per time trial so if you do this one this one and this one that's the ones i think you'll be able to do alone these three you know if you're a new player it's going to be annoying without auto attack so i, I suggest you get a carry you know if you have a friend maybe carry you in all the time trials some people can't do this one yet but yeah you get a carry in those you get two extra opens which speeds up the process by a lot let me tell you and yeah you're basically yeah you're basically chilling You'll have a lot of opens. You'll have a lot of, of quips, stuff like that. Uh, when you're opening, what I suggest you do is there's a thing right here where you go auto sell. The thing on passives, I suggest you do this. Keep solid gold and keep draconic. And the reason I say that is because they're money units. As you open, if you get any of those, you're going to get more money. So it's going to take you less time to do things. And that's always a plus. So yeah, when you're auto selling, just make sure that's like that. Uh, I actually forgot to tell you, show you how to do it. I mean, I, I said how to do it, but I didn't actually show you how to. Uh, these are the, that's the, this is the cheap machine where you should roll on if you're new. This is the expensive machine if you have a lot of stuff. But yeah. When you're basically auto rolling, this is how you select it. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And I guess you keep draconic. <clears throat> you know what? You could keep solid gold too, I guess. You know, since I said if you're trying to make money. And then, yeah. I mean, I guess lucky three as well if you're... But nah, this is kind of shit. But I mean, whatever. You're a new player. That's not the worst thing I've seen. But anyways, yeah, you're rolling on shards. If you don't want to use shards, you could do this. If you have tokens like me. Anyways. So basically. When you're at Lucky Kingdom, as I was saying before, you're going to be opening. As soon as you get uh, enough money, 
keep opening. The door is going to be expensive. As soon as you get enough money, just keep opening and you'll be able to buy the next world. You know, and then you just keep doing it all the way to the last world. It's going to take the longest from... <clears throat> it's going to take the most time from... Like... Kingdom of Four? Where is it? Kingdom of Four. Kingdom of Four? So World 21? <clears throat> To world 40 that's gonna be the longest after this you could literally just open like three times on auto open and you get to last world so easily especially if you have a lot equipped why you want to get to the last world is because you're gonna be able to do dungeons you're gonna be able to open dungeons and yeah that's good the first artifact you want to max out is going to be drops. Drops is the most important. What I suggest you do as a new player is just upgrade your drops until it says, do you want to prestige? Don't prestige right away and just farm infinites. You're going to be cloning miners. There's the miner passive over here. <clears throat> it's the one with the pickaxe, basically. That passive, you're going to want to clone a bunch of times, right? Clone as many times as, oh, clone as many times as you have to, because that's going to be the best uh, drop passive for you. The best one in the game is actually this one. So if you get that, that's amazing. But yeah, well, it's actually not this. It's actually this plus this. I'll explain that later. But miner is going to be the easy one to clone. You just get a bunch of commons. Once you have a bunch of commons equipped you're gonna try to get mythicals mythicals basically in this game are the easiest to and the fastest to clone you're gonna work on your drops team then you're gonna work on your time team so you want to have a full team of minor then you want to have a full team of either pickaxes or you want to have dracos you know So, if I go over here, let's say, and I do this, right? And then I go auto open. Okay, this is taking way too long. All right. So, you go to machine world. And as you could see, there's a machine right here. Make sure that they don't have any passives on it. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, it's better with no passives because you're gonna be cloning them later. You craft that. So it said 10 days, but that's a lie. Look, it's three days actually. And with time event, it's gonna be a lot faster. Now I have broken time, so it's going a lot faster than what it would go for you. But look, it takes that much time. When you get a limit broken character, <clears throat> you're going to want to clone them. Don't infuse them. There's this machine right here where you could get like a super strong one. You're not doing it for that reason. All you're doing is cloning. You're going to do two, you know, you're going to, you have two limit broken machines. You're going to clone a bunch of mythics. You just want to go. There's also another one in Abyss. So, see, uh, wait, where is it? Is it icy? Okay, it's in icy wastes. There's a third machine. This is really important. Bam. 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 So you craft. And then you're just going to clone after you get that. And the good thing about cloning is there's two clone uh, machines right next to the limit broken machine. In machine world and there's also a clone machine in mystic island that's really good as you can see so you're going to clone once you're finished you collect them you can withdraw from here don't cancel 
and you can just keep cloning them, yeah? Clone tokens and shiny pots, avatar level ups, all that stuff is really cheap. Uh, when you're finished all that, you're going to want to focus on just going to the last world and getting the new divine. Like, you're going to have a good team. You're going to have basically a full team of mythics with time units. You're going to work on your drops, though, obviously. Try to get your drops. I guess the best way you could do is find a friend that could hook you up with uh, stuff. But once you have drops, you're going to do infinite. Let me let me go back a little. Let me step back before we go to getting the divine. Yeah. There's basically a thing called infinite tower. Don't confuse it with infinite time trial. This is infinite time trial. You want to do infinite tower. This you just stay in the middle. Once you stay in the middle and farm that a bunch of times, obviously you need, ooh, you need auto attack game pass. I heard that auto attack game pass drops in this though. If you don't, like you could get it for free. I've only heard of one person getting it though. It's not usually people buy the auto attack. With auto attack, it's so easy. So if there's any game pass you should buy, right away it's auto attack. It's going to help you farm. That's the one right here. Magnet and auto attack. Auto attack, magnet, you're kind of farming. TP is pretty useful too. As you can see, we use it a lot in this video. But yeah, you're going to basically try to unlock a second artifact. So the first artifact you unlock is drops. The second is going to be fighters. So you could have more fighters and you equip more drop fighters. You could upgrade up to six. So you want to max you want to max out your fighters before you max out your drops. Because then you're going to get more drops. And then you keep farming until you have enough to prestige the next level. There are sheets online that explain how much you need. This is just the beginning video. All right. Now, basically, after you do that, the second passive you want to max out is going to be time time is going to be the one you're going to use to open with i know people think luck but no luck is not the the best luck is not king in this game time the faster you open the better your life's going to be you're going to just prestige it to the first thing you know just get it to max pre uh, prestige one max don't don't uh I mean, just get it to max level. Yeah, level 10, I think it is. Don't try to prestige it. The third artifact you're going to want to max out is going to be dreams. Then it's actually going to be damage, probably. And then it's going to be luck at the last thing. But it's not even that important, really. I never use luck artifact, only for videos. This is really important too. This is pretty cheap to max out to prestige the three. I think it's like 2000 blue. Like if you have 2000 blue, 1000 purple, you're kind of chilling. But yeah. Make sure you do infinites so you could get the double artifact. It does pop up in green. It says in the chat, but I have never seen it when I did it. So I just, every time I do an infinite, I go check and I click. If you click on here and it lets you change it, you know you have it. If it says you haven't unlocked it, well, yeah, that explains everything. Now, TT shards are very cheap too. If you pull up, I could always hook it up, you know, hook up some TT shards if you're new. Pull up, I don't mind it. You have to be in the stream though, because I'm not chasing people just to, you know, what is this? But yeah, uh... Super drops is going to be really important and super time. Don't pay. Don't buy this. Don't buy this. It's too expensive right now. Uh, super luck is good too. It's all right, I guess. But yeah, that's all you want. Super luck. Super drops. Super time. Also, another note. If you use super yen and super luck while you open and you're trying to go to the last level you will go there a little faster because you're going to get luckier characters. You're going to get rarer characters, you're, which are going to sell for more, and you're going to get more money when you pop a yen boost.
All right. This is how you collect your achievements, though. When you collect an achievement, it's going to say, boom, you did that. We could have did this, but this is kind of pointless for us. We're only max opening. Now. Uh, yeah, the thing about defenses, let me show you a little trick in defenses. Let's say you go to a defense and you're weak, right? Let's equip a dude that's sh crap. Uh, this dude. That's just a VIP unit, by the way. If you buy VIP, you get a unit like that. If I go to a defense, <clears throat> there's going to be a strat. Did they take away the bat symbols? There used to be bat symbols. I don't know. Either way. Yeah, we're going to wait 35 seconds. And you're going to see I'm not going to be able to kill him. There's no point. I guess you want to equip your drops artifact because you'll get more drops. And you want to equip your drop team. Because drops are based on this. Yeah, so equip your drop artifacts, drop team, and yeah, multitude. That's what you want to do. So watch this. This is going to be the strat for farming uh, defenses. You're weak as shit. You can't attack. You can't kill no one. L. Watch. See how I'm attacking? Look, I'm not doing any damage at all. If he touches this, I'm dead. You know? As soon as he gets there, I'm dead. But what you want to do, especially if you you don't have the TP thing, you go over here. Right? When he gets to around this point... Just travel back here. Teleport back. Boom. Then you go back. Make sure there's no one in your defense. And you see, I got money for it. So you just keep doing that over and over again until you have enough to max open and do stuff like that. Until you get stronger, you know, that's the, you're going to be doing that method's going to kind of be slow, but it is what it is. That's the way to do it. Solo. Now, there's going to be certain. Uh, when I was talking about, let's talk about uh, getting the last divine. So they say the best divine luck is going to be around like 44, 45. But as long as you equip your, I suggest you equip your luck artifact. With your time team, you know? I mean, sorry. You're you're going to equip multitude, time, and you're going to equip your luck team, you know? That's what you want to do. And, yeah, then just open. You're going to max open. Don't do anything but max open. Go to last world. Uh, actually, this is kind of expensive. You're going to go to Mecha World, because that's where the Divine is. You can still get the Divine in Mecha World. This is where you first spawned. The easy way to tell where he first spawns is there's the Level Up Machine. It shows you exactly, well, yeah. Well, the Level Up Machine means that the Divine was there originally. So, yeah, you just auto-open. Obviously, you want to do it like this. I would actually turn off this if you're going to AFK for a long time. Don't take nothing. Unless you need uh, your drop team. But nah, you should have did the thing that I told you in the beginning. It's going to help you progress too because uh, those both give you money as well. But yeah, Draco gives you money. Gold gives you money. Stuff like that. But yeah, as you can see, I think Bounty Hunter actually... Might give yen too. So it might be not as useless as I said. Either way. So yeah, you're just going to be opening. Get the divine. When you get a normal divine, don't shiny him. You clone him. 
clone him as many times as you can. Just keep cloning, cloning, cloning. You get two, put them in two machines. You get four after, put three in the machines. Then you limit break. You start limit breaking them. You start keep cloning and keep limit breaking. And then when you limit break, you infuse. Make sure they have no passives on them. When you infuse them, then you start cloning the infused units. Now, if you go to Machine World, I'll show you where the infused things are. Infused means limit broken characters clone. The way it works, these machines, when you clone, you have to, the one you want to keep is in the middle. So let's say you shouldn't be ever putting characters with good passives in the middle. You have transfer tokens, you know? But I'm just saying, yeah, don't put, uh, don't put double passive units. Like, let's say he has, uh, I don't know, Draco Draco, and you want to keep both. If you do infuse and take them out, you're only going to have one passive. It deletes one of the other passives. So don't put two passives in this machine. Okay? So, yeah. You're putting limit broken characters. It's going to take longer, but it's not going to take as long because they're going to be... Uh, if they're mythic, they're not going to take long. But, I mean, why are you doing that with mythics? Just do it with divines. Divines only. Once you infuse divines, you're basically going to be looking for certain divines to fuse actually when you start when you start cloning those divines you're going to focus on your avatars avatars are going to be the next thing you focus on now i tell you okay start using the normal avatars but literally you could skip all this skip all this mess don't get no normal avatars i mean you could just for the sake of having it but there is a uh, there's demonic tokens, right? When you go to this machine here, this is how you craft demonic avatars. You're going to need 15 cursed orbs. That's why I told you not to trade with nobody. 20 of these. That's why I said not to trade. You need 100 demonic fruits. The only way to get demonic fruits are through challenges. Uh, I mean raids. Sorry. And uh, through... Uh, in, uh, insane insane dungeons that's why i said you have to go to last world so you could open dungeons for people and they could let you hit the chests you cannot trade demonic fruits so these ones uh these things right here cannot trade these you could trade these you could trade these so if you have a friend that wants to help you they can help you out unfortunately i need these <laughs> One in the chat if I start giving people some of these to help them. Let me know in the comments. All right. But, yeah, all you have to do is pick a fighter. You have to get just a normal demonic. Now, to craft these demonics, let me show you exactly what you need. All right. We're on the page. This is a site that you could use, basically right here. Uh, there's Demon Prince. You're going to need Red Bat, which you could get an Icy, and Flaming Hero, which you could both get an Icy. Icy, Flaming Hero, just open there until you get both. I mean, you could go to uh, also Fire if you have three Flaming Heroes, but I suggest you just stay in Icy and open there until you get uh, three of each. Then you basically, or you could just get one of each. Get one of each and start cloning. You know, do the whole cloning method. Sometimes I open for nine. You know, if you're, you're if it's easy for you, open for nine. If not, open one and clone. Make sure they're normal. If you don't get one without a passive, uh, transfer token the passive off of him onto some random character. I also heard that having a common passive is okay, but yeah. So basically. Once you have an infused red bat and infused flaming hero, you could craft them. Put one, you're gonna, I'll show you exactly how to craft and where to craft. Basically, it's gonna be in the underworld. So if we go over here, this is the underworld. He's not the most important, he's just a damage one. He's just a good one to get. Uh, yeah. 
So as you can see, you put, I guess, red bed here. You click on him, put flaming here, and then you need 30 of these, and you need some of these too. The way you get evolution shards is you have to attack the time chamber man. Go into here, and there's this dude. If you attack him, equip best, you don't have to attack him with strong units. But yeah, if you attack him, you're going to see. Eventually, he drops a shard. It's one of the most easiest things to get. But yeah, eventually you'll attack him, and he's going to drop stuff. He's going to drop evolution shards. So he's going to be the dude that you don't really have to worry about. That's going to be the second thing you do. The first thing you're going to do is get this, War Spirit and Cursed Dragon infused. It's going to be the same process. You're going to have to do gates, though. Gates, you could get from doing dungeons. Just do some normal dungeons. Just do easy dungeons, and you, it, it drops from it, you know? Basically, uh, he's in Eminence Garden. Let me show you exactly where the machine is. Go over here, and I think it's world 50. Damn, I play this game too much. World 50. Yeah. So if you evolve him, you're going to get these demon horns and demon things from just doing uh, gates. The way you get gates, you could also get gates from going to Hero Village. And then you look at this board right here. Quest board is going to be important. See, I get one gate token crafting five relics. The way to craft the relics are going to be uh, going to time chamber. And you go over here. Uh, yeah, and basically anyone you have. You craft. It doesn't matter. You just craft five of them. You have this much amount. Boom, boom, boom. Craft five of those. They all cost the same. You have five hearts. You have five of these. Whatever it is. You're going to be doing it anyways for the materials. So you're going to know which ones you need. Just craft five of those. You'll get a gate token. You can start grinding gates. You know? You can start doing that shit. It's, it's actually ironic. You need this. You need to craft, I guess. Oof. Yeah, you're going to have to do dungeons because you need gates to do this unless you're doing like stuff like this where it says get uh, materials. Oh, you kind of missed that. But yeah, you're just going to have to do dungeons until you get gate token. And the way you do that is you go over here, you get a gate token. Then you buy this, go over here, click on the E rank. You do that. You're going to get better ranks eventually. Just whatever rank you get, just keep going through them, getting better ones. Eventually, you'll have a Z rank. I would stop at Z rank and don't do any other ones unless you need to do uh, anniversary gates for different materials. But that's, uh, that's going to be later on in the video. Mainly, you're going to be doing A rank and Z rank for stuff. Yeah, so once you craft, it's going to take around two days, three days to craft. And yeah, once you have the Demonic Fighter, you go back to the Machine World. You're going to have to collect him from the Machine. He's not going to pull up in your inventory. You're not going to find him here. It's going to look kind of glitchy because the units that you craft him with are just going to stay in your inventory. It's going to look weird. But anyways, go over here, pick the Fighter, boom, Demonic Dude. Craft, sacrifice him, you get the thing. Now you're going to have to level him up. When you level them up, you go over here. Go over here, and it's going to cost you ten curse, uh, five cursed orbs and uh, ten each time. I suggest you do time first for this dude and then luck. As you can see, it does 15 time, 13 luck when he's maxed out. Start with this, boop, 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 then do this, boop, boop, boop. 
And then after, you're going to do it with uh, this dude. Don't even look at the other dudes. They're not even worth it. Avatar level up. Now, there is a secret damage. There is a secret mission you could do with uh, this dude. Don't focus on the other secret missions for demonic avatars. Because uh, they're not worth it. The other secret missions suck. The way to check your secret mission progress is to, to go over here. You go over here, right? Convert. You see? I have him equipped. That's the thing. If I equip him and go here, I didn't even complete him. You know, it doesn't really matter. This is not like how to do this. This is just, I'm only going to explain how to do Demon Prince. What you want to do is just do infinites with him equipped. I did not equip attack artifact when I was doing that. But I guess you could equip attack artifact if you want. Some people say you need it. I don't know if that's true. Because I didn't do it with attack artifact. I never do infinites with attack artifact. And he's 100% complete. Just do infinites with demon equipped. With him equipped. Infinites. And that's infinite time trial. It's located right over here. Infinite time trial, sorry. Infinite tower. Infinite time trial is right here. Don't do this with him. Do this one. You just sit in one place with auto attack. And it's really easy. If you don't have auto attack, it's going to be kind of tough, the game. Because you're going to have to click on everything. Uh, I guess you could get the auto clicker and do it the old-fashioned way. Where you just boop, 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 put it to 100 milliseconds. And you could just wave over the enemies like this. Alright. So... You're kind of good. You're kind of set. You have all the stuff you need. You kind of want to start getting the best of the best. Let me tell you what's the best of the best. This is the best drop passive. As you can see, with no drop artifact, when I have my drop artifact maxed out, why is it so low? Did they take away the events? Did they nerf? They nerfed drops. Ooh, they just nerfed drops. That's okay, though. It is what it is. Hmm. Either way. With, as you can see, I have 6,000 drops. No, no, no. I have an attack. No, they didn't nerf drop. They didn't nerf drops. Sorry. Okay, yeah, that's more like it. 12,000. So, as you can see, I have 12,000 drops. When you have 12,000 drops... Life becomes a lot easy. You could go inside here. And watch this. I just do small dungeons. We have... Uh, this is how I get my stuff to reroll, you know? If I want some Requiem tokens, let's see how much I get in one small dungeon. These small dungeons typically take... Like... Uh, I don't know, under five minutes? Five minutes kind of long. But yeah, you just auto attack with your drop team. Damn, look, they're, bus they're doing business over there. But yeah, I'm just showing you guys exactly how much I get. Uh, we got this. I don't know why we got that. Maybe that's a mission. But that was uh, weird, really weird. I don't know why sometimes we get random pop-ups. It's strange. But yeah, as you can see, look, from one chest, we're getting 500. Just so you know, Cursed Thorps drop from chests. 
But yeah, look, we're going to be done this in under two minutes. Don't do infinites for rerolls. Do these. Look how many, look how many we're getting. 2,000 right there. Over, over 3,000 we're getting. So yeah, we just got like 4,000 Requiem rerolls. There's no point in doing infinite. That was two minutes. But that's when you max out stuff. It's not gonna, you're not gonna get the same drops as me. Basically what we did is we get demon and we get broken limiter. When you get demon and broken limiter, you're also gonna have to have an infused uh, a demon unit, basically. Let me show you exactly what's up. You go to challenge hub. Let's see if I have any. I might have some. But I, I've been using them all, so it could be possible that I don't have any. Yeah, it's tough. I don't have any interstellars or anything to show you how to craft it. All you're going to have to do is listen to me. So, yeah, you're going to take your infused unit. So this is, this is I mean, not an infused unit. You're going to take any demonic. So let's say this, dude. Take this demonic unit. You go to Machine World. And you go over here. You're going to place your demonic unit in the middle. Then you're going to select, uh, let's say this is angel, right? Angel and you want demon together. Or, yeah, whatever. You take one demonic, the other one, and you craft that. Now together, you're going to get, boom, it's going to show up right there. And let me show you exactly what the, the passives are. You got Broken Limiter, Angel, Interstellar. They're all good. Angel and Interstellar, that's for time. That's the best time demonic. Broken Limiter and Demon, that's for drops. I say time. I did time first, but I think drops is more important. So try to do Broken Limiter and Demon. This is drops and time. Then after, when you're done drops and time, you could do Angel and Demon. Angel Interstellar first, then Broken Limiter Demon. It's good because the grind while you're doing this, trying to get these, you're going to be chilling, you know? You're going to be making a good... You're just going to AFK inside the, the open thing. We have fast opens, so it's not as bad. If you don't have fast opens, then equip this dude. Equip this dude and open at the same time. That's going to actually make it go faster for your secret quest. He His secret quest is you get faster spins on the machine with no game pass. So yeah, that's going to be useful for people without the game pass. So yeah, these are the only avatars you need to care about. The rest are med. If you're going to talk about normal divines and you're like, hey, I want to, it's this dude and uh, that dude has more time. But this 3x3 luck, you know, him and her. This is for damage and this is for luck and time. The good thing is you need both of them to craft this. So I guess you could always craft an extra one, level them up. Same way you level them up here, you can level them up over there. You're just going to have to sacrifice some. Uh, you're going to have to level them up here instead. I mean, yeah, either way. I think you can level them up there, though, too. I do believe you can. Converting stuff, this is how you craft the uh, passive transfers. You go like this. And then you convert here. When you're maxed, you're maxed. But code should help you do that. This machine is going to help you convert stuff. Just so you know, this is the cheapest one. This is second cheapest one. This is third, fourth, fifth, 
and this is the most expensive in this order you see in this order right here this is the most expensive one if i select two of these i could craft one of these if i select one of these i could craft 32 of these see look 32 16 8 4 2 there you go that's the value you can convert you could also convert shards so if you let's say you have one world that you need to do i don't know boom but it it halves the thing so you go next it's the world that are adjacent to them so the first one the top one or the bottom one you're just gonna have to figure out which is which, you know, and convert, and then you get those frags. Uh, weapon machine? I don't know why they put that there. You can't even use it. I guess this is for, it's only for hardcore. But yeah, let me show you. Uh, the shiny machine. This is how you shiny characters. Oh, yeah. To craft any character in the thing, you have to shiny them. I suggest you put at least 69 fruits if you want to keep them. Select 69 fruits. You click that, you get that, you know? But, uh, yeah. What I wanted to say is uh, this machine, you don't have to worry unless you have heavenly characters. That's the best characters in the game. They're really rare to get. If I go here, boom, one man army and uh, son, uh, what do you call it? Immortal King. You can't get this dude anymore and you can still get this dude. If you want to get those dudes, you're going to need 30, they say 37 luck and you have to open, try to get more than 24 time. And then you just auto click on the auto open on auto max open. So you could just do instant max. It's best to have all the game passes too. So you're probably going to need more time if you don't have all the game passes in your time slow. But just max out your time. Try to get as high as possible. It's not really hard to get, as you could see, 37 luck. But 37.1 luck, sorry. Okay. Uh, grimoires. Basically... Grimoires, if I go to uh, Index, this is the best one. It increases your damage times two. This one, increases your damage times 1.5. They're good. And just scroll until you get the good one, you know? They're really hard to get come by, though. I have a lot, and I'm trading them, but they're kind of pricey, you know? You could also go to the black market dude who trades one cursed orb for three grimoire tokens. I guess that's the second best option, but I trade five grimoire tokens for one cursed orb. Let me know if you guys are interested. I don't want to trade too many because I'm kind of low now. I traded a bunch. That's why I have so many uh, demonic fruit. Traded a bunch of Easter boosts and shit like that. By the way, Easter boosts are really good. But you can't get them anymore. Okay, so I told you the best passive. Let's go with the best illusionist. I'm just going to sum it up really quick. It's going to be Indra Burst. Indra Burst is the best. The way you get him is you go to Fire. Flame City, he's the craftable. It's this dude right here. So all you need to do, do is get three mythics. Don't shiny him. Is there's no point when you put it on your character, your shiny character, he turns shiny anyways. So yeah, just get a bunch of flame tokens, get a bunch of mythics, craft a bunch of him, and then just convert. The way to do that is you go over to the challenge hub. And uh, yeah, this dude, make sure you put the one you don't want to keep. So if you don't want to keep him, put it on uh, him, boom. You're going to destroy this unit. You're going to keep this one. 
So don't mix up the place. Always double check. Always think about it. Yeah, that's what it is. And you could clear it by doing this, clicking on this, and pressing clear. Now he goes back to normal. Okay. Let's talk about... Uh, let's talk about... What is there left to do? I think it's pretty much done. Relics, yeah. This is going to be the best drop relic. Uh, to basically craft it, you're going to need to do anniversary gates. Anniversary gates drop in A portals. So if you go to your portals, I would just do A portals. Well, you do A portals, you're going to farm Z gates too. That's going to be nice. So A rank gates, just keep opening these A portals until you get a bunch of anniversary ones. Where are they? Right here. And then you do a bunch of those. You're going to get basically uh, chess pieces, these things. And to craft it, you just go to the time chamber. Craft it right here. Boom. Make sure you click on a mythical. The mythical one increases your drops the most. Now, when you're crafting the mythical crowns, make sure that uh, you don't level them up after. There is a way to level them up. There's a machine. Let me show you in machine world where you could make everything better. It's so annoying to use because it doesn't tell you which one's equipped, which one's not equipped. To level them up, you have to equip them. But look, I have this one and I have this one. And I already did the experiment. They don't get give you more when you level up. The only stuff that gives you more is damage. If it's a damage one, it's going to give you more. That's why I upgraded the Sunjin Wu Cloaks. Now, I have Sunjin Wu Cloak equipped, but I do believe that the best one is uh, the new one that just dropped. They dropped a new one. Uh, where is it? Yeah, they dropped a new one. Ghoul Tail. You get this from Anniversary 2. You craft the mythical ones. It increases your damage and crit. So what you're going to be doing is your attack units have this. And your other units have this. I don't think... I don't know if upgrading this... I upgraded this max, but it didn't increase my team damage, I don't think. It doesn't increase that. So this, like, once you get the mythic, don't, like, craft it. Don't, like, max it out to level 9. There's no point. Uh... Max this one out though. You're gonna want to max it out. And it costs it's pretty expensive to max out. So let's just craft one. We don't have the required items. It's pretty pricey, as you can see. But yeah, all you have to do is go here. Boom, boom. I see I have a bunch of these. All I have to do is click, click, click. I craft all those, boom. I go over here, click on this. Mythical craft going to be in here ghoul tail i suggest you craft one at a time and level them up one at a time because it's going to be less confusing for you when you go to machine world you're going to need five of each colored gears to unlock this machine that could only be obtained in hellish if you're going to do hellish dungeons you have to have literally the best team like in the game you have to have uh fully evolved demonic units and all that stuff. You know? You're going to have to have uh, the best. The, the passive that I'm using right now for support is Double Resurrection. It's kind of useless that I'm telling you this because you can't get this anymore. So, this is, this is the best for support. And you can't get it anymore. I guess the second best would be Crew Leader. Yeah. Second best would be Crew Leader. You have a team of crew leaders. Wait till the next uh, island that pops up. Maybe they're going to add a better uh, team damage passive. But yeah, basically how you do this is you go over here, click on this, and then you could upgrade. And it's really annoying. Look, look how annoying it is. They have to fix this. Because literally you have to make it small. 
You have to do that. You go here. Yeah, it's so annoying. And as you can see, go to one. It went to one. We upgraded again. I don't have enough purple fragments. It's okay. I'll do that later off camera. Now, as I was saying, for uh, Hellish Dungeons, if you're going to attempt to do that, you're going to want to craft demonics. Now, demonics are expensive. When you go to the talent machine, as soon as you craft a demonic, before you shiny him, what you're going to want to do is select him, and you're going to max him out like this. You click upgrade after. Then you shiny him. Name him. Call him Shibugamu. I don't know. This is how you name characters. Boom. You name him. And then when you craft him, you make sure that he's in the middle. When you get three of them, right? You shiny three of them. You make sure he's in the middle. When you have him shiny, throw him back in the machine again. Then you max him out again. Upgrade. Only the one... When he's limit broken, right? Max him out again. Boom. Take him out. Then you have to infuse him by getting two other limit broken. When he's infused for the last time, you do the same thing. You know? It's just going to be cheaper for you to max him out. It's still going to cost a lot. It's probably going to cost around like 1700 It's going to be cheaper if you use less to uh, craft. I, I was using 40, but maybe if you... I'm not afraid of losing them. Maybe I kind of don't like losing them. I haven't lost one yet. Knock on wood. But 69. Around 60, 69 demonic fruits to uh, shiny. That's what you want to use because it increases. When I'm doing 40, look, you're getting 97. When you do 40, that's 90. That's 87. I mean, it's not that bad. But you have a bigger chance of losing them. 12% chance to lose them. So yeah, that's the way you do that. You just keep upgrading. You know, you can't clone those uh, dudes. You can only clone div uh, Divine and Below. Um, is there anything else? Challenger units? I don't think it's worth it, really, to get these dudes. I already have an Aaron. I have a couple of the boss units. But to be honest, like it's good for starting out and it's good for like keeping. But it's really not worth it because you're going to spend over to like 2,000 fruits. You're going to have to corrupt. There's basically uh, stars that fall. These stars give you... Uh, where are the stars at? Fallen stars, there's so many items. They should have a better way to organize your stuff. But yeah, these fallen stars, they drop 25 from each fallen star. You're going to need 200 to corrupt him. That's when he's infused. So you need 9 of him. You get him only from raids. And you have to do the same process that I told you to do the demonic thing with. Do the challenger thing with. Because it's going to be cheaper in the end. If not, you're going to pay super... Exp it's going to be super pricey for you. You don't want to do that. So, yeah, basically, uh, yeah, when you get them infused, they kind of look cool, though. They have, like, a different appearance and everything. Let's just look at them, though. Let me look and show you exactly. Yeah, I have Aaron. He has a moon. That means he's super infused. Uh, that means he's corrupted. And, yeah, we have basically the best demonic passives together. Is going to be Fallen Angel Omnipresent so far. You know? That's going to be the Demon and Angel. Plus the Angel and Interstellar. So, yeah. That's going to be what it is. If you're crafting. If you're doing uh, Heavenlies. This is only for the people with Heavenlies. It's going to be so expensive. It's around 900 Cursed Orbs to max out one Heavenly. Maybe more, actually. But yeah, I think it was maybe 950. It took me like 1,900. 1,900 cursed orbs to max out both. And the thing I don't like about it is you have to unlock them to max them out. So make sure you unlock them and lock them back up after you level them up. Uh, 
If you're going to go in the new world, there's a couple new passives that I'll show you. Basically, in this place, there's going to be a... What do you call it? These passives. This one is going to be for Yen. This is not really good for people watching this video in the future. So this one's for Yen. This one's for Luck. This is the best Luck passive in the game. Gives you plus two Luck. The other one that... Uh, the Golden Lucky that you clone gives plus one Luck. So it's literally double the thing. Flashbang, I think it gives you drops. I, I Yeah, it does give you drops. I'm just going to say it. So if you get a bunch of flashbangs, I think it's really good. I think it might be better than uh, the other one. What do you call it? Uh, minor. But yeah. If you're doing this, basically it's only for the mount. And there's a drippy divine that uh, drops here. If we go here, yeah. Oh, no, sorry. The Divine is Gundam. So it's kind of cool. And to get Caleb, you're going to have to use Gundam. And I think either uh, Sensitive Slayer or it's Gundam and... Uh, Gundam and Sensitive Slayer or Gundam and uh, Gurren. Let's see really quick. I mean, we have a bunch. Goran, select, and uh, Gundam. Nine. Okay. Uh, where is he? We have two of those. Yeah, let's might as well just see. Yeah, so you, can, you see he used it up. It's Gurren and Gundam. And this dude's weak. So that's how you craft him. The boss drops from raids. You can't get Aaron anymore as of the time, as of uh, me speaking now. So, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, is there anything? Titles, yeah. Best title right now is Time Lord. Time Controller, sorry. You get plus 20 time. All these other ones are kind of useless besides uh, King of Hell. It gives you, wait. Yeah, King of Hell plus 100 damage boost. That's all right. It's not the craziest thing. Because when you have your damage boost uh, team out, you're basically doing a stupid amount. Like if I go to Challenge Hub right now, and I equip, let's say, my damage team. I go here, boom, and I go with damage. Now, some of these dudes I'm going to have to replace. Oh, no, no, never mind. We're good. Let's see. Yeah. Look at my damage. Why is it so weak? Oh, yeah. We have to equip uh, this. Holy Grail. Equip on every single one of those. So what you want to do is you have to unequip all. And let's see if it stays on them. All right. Holy Grail time. Let's equip all the dudes to see how much damage we could do in the end. They have to have a better way of doing this. And by better way, I mean... This is the only way. One, two, three, four. I think we have to delete some Holy Grails, too. To make room for the other stuff. Yeah, we have to delete some Holy Grails. It was the cost to be the boss. Because we wanted to... We had to focus on our drops. We need more room. Or maybe it's just glitched again. Mm. 
Yeah, it's just glitched again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Select. Now it's glitched again. We make it big. Weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you know what I'm doing? I'm deleting this. We're going to craft Holy Grails, basically. But as you can see, when we equip these, we need to have more inventory space because this is ridiculous. We're focused on drops and we're focused on damage. We go to team. Uh, sorry, let's go to uh, boom. Equip. So we're missing one, two, three. Three. But you see, look at the damage increased by, like, we're in the 2000s. It goes higher the more uh, Holy Grails you have equipped. So this does team damage. Holy Grail does team damage. They're going to boost the damage of these dudes. I'm going to be replacing Sunjin Wu Cloak with the damage artifact. So, yeah. Let's see if we leave this game and rejoin what happens. Don't go to Trade Hub. Trade Hub's glitched right now. It's going to mess up your units. It's going to unequip stuff. It's going to unlevel them. It's going to... People say that it deletes items. Don't go to Trade Hub. Everything bad happens in Trade Hub. None of my homies like Trade Hub. It's just bad vibe central, yo. Okay, so let's see if it stayed equipped. It did stay equipped. That's W. So that's a new update that they added. Now the artifacts stay equipped. So W developers, uh, is there anything else that matters in this game? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Machine world. Uh... What is the most, what is, oh yeah, auras. So just do uh, small dungeons for auras. We're actually aura grinding currently right now. We kind of don't have all the auras though. As you can see, this is the best aura to have. This is the best damage aura, but the, 1,000% or only 10%? Because 100% is one damage. They're, they're misleading, I know. They should just put plus 10, not the percent. Just put 10.5. We would understand. Plus 10.5 damage. They're making it seem like it's better than what it is. This is only plus 4 a time, which is all right. Thunderous form. So they added two new passives. Let's actually see what they are. There's a mystery ones, two like secret ones that I haven't gotten yet. I think they're with the 2X Game Pass that you buy here. You didn't see nothing. With the 2X Game Pass, you could get... Uh, it's 1 and 1,250 dungeons. You could get the crazy one. So it's super rare. We've only done how much? We've only done only 1.9K, yo. That's crazy. The way we got to this tower was in the beginning, you're able to, they didn't scale them, so they're easy. And we did it from the start to beginning. I think we could have probably got the 3K if we didn't trade every time we maxed out our frags, 
But anybody over 3K, it's kind of sus. Anyways, that's enough of that. Highest infinity trail floor. Yeah, we did this solo. Uh, yeah, there's not much else besides that. Let's actually go check out the auras. We're going to do that. Let's uh, see if they added any uh, things on the wiki. Because I was going to see what's up with that. Okay, aura, aura, aura. Aura. There we go. They should add some new ones. Blessed one. Legendary. Blessed one. Balloon aura. Confetti aura. Time and drops. These are, I think these are just like uh, Easter ones or something that they put. And I think they didn't add them in the game because no one's ever got one. No one's ever gotten those things. But uh, where are the stats? Where are the stats for them? I swear they had stats. To receive an aura, 20%. Yeah, they don't have the stats on them, but this one's like 50 next time. This is what you want. Luck and drops, useless. This is good. You don't need luck when having an aura. Luck is one of the things that we're slowly phasing out. Too much luck is bad. You don't want to go over 60 luck when opening ever. Uh, is there anything else? There's this. This is a good wiki, but they don't really update sometimes. They show exactly what drops from which dungeons. Like that. Uh, yeah, there's nothing really too crazy. Yeah, they updated it for that. I guess because they didn't have the information. And they show exactly what Z. That's why I say don't do X gates. X gates doesn't drop really too much stuff. And you're getting shitty items. Imagine doing an X gate and getting fire crystals. But yeah, that's about it. I don't think there's anything else. Oh yeah, you get challenger fruits from... Uh, Raids. If you want to do it the most efficient, you have friends or alts go to the raids with you. You're going to have to have unlock trading on the alts. But you do raids basically with your alts and do massive raids. The way to get massive raids is uh, you didn't see nothing. The way to get massive raids is you just refresh your server until it shows massive. So let's say if I go in raids. And I'm like, oh, this is a normal one. Then I just leave the server, reset my server. You can only do it on privates. Or you could go from server to server trying to find a massive one. Because, uh, yeah. And then when you see massive, when you see either it pop up here, when you join the server, when you refresh, or you go into the settings to look for it. I favorite all my massive raids. So it just pops up at the top here. When I see a raid, I favorite it. And then it pops up like right here. So I don't have to go scroll down and check. But I think that's about it. I pretty much explained everything I know. There could be things that they change in the future. Stuff that's low, no longer obtainable. And yeah. But it is what it is for now. That's what we know about stuff. And uh, yeah. If you have any questions or, is this, or there's anything I left out, let me know. But this was a long video. I usually don't do videos like this. And let me know if you want more videos like this in the future. Either way, we're done. We could maybe simplify it uh, in the next video. This was kind of just off the top of my head. But, yo, appreciate the support, guys. Take it easy and have a nice day. Peace.